Hello everyone! In this week's video, I'm doing an Inktober sketchbook tour. This Inktober sketchbook tour is going to be a little different because my sister is joining me. Hello! She also did Inktober, so we're also going to look through her sketchbook and we're going to look through my sketchbook, obviously. And so, day one was ring and I thought of a boxing ring, so I drew a girl boxing. Also, another thing I wanted to mention, was that I challenged myself to not do any fan art this Inktober because I tend to default to fan art and therefore I wanted to challenge myself to not do fan art and so yeah no fan art this Inktober <laughs> for me. I'm not following that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you did lots of fan art. <laughs> oh yeah I forgot I am also doing a special announcement about my webcomic My Next Door Neighbors at the end uh, so please stay tuned till the end if you want to hear more about that. Anyways, let's see what Regan did for day one. So, we were originally going to have them be really, really tiny. <laughs> yeah, we both had tiny sketchbooks, um, but I decided to ditch that on day two. So, I drew, like, kind of like they got like, engaged. Day two was mindless. I was kind of confused on what to do for this one. I decided to do a jellyfish girl because jellyfish don't have minds. So for mindless, I thought of a doll, because dolls are mindless. Yeah, I don't have much to say about it, <laughs> it's just a doll. <laughs> On day three, the prompt was bait, and so I have a girl hiding behind a tree and bushes, and then there's a little carrot, and basically she placed the carrot there, hoping that a bunny would eventually come and find the carrot, and she was successful. I love how happy she is about the little bunny. <laughs> She's like, oh, it, it worked! <laughs> so for bait, I thought, <laughs> I can't take it seriously. Um, Do you want me to explain? <laughs> sure. Okay. So, for bait, she thought of Jojo Siwa because she always does clickbaity thumbnails. And so she did. And titles. And titles. <laughs> so, that's what she drew. <laughs> she looks really cute, though. I don't know what happened here. Oh, that's odd. I think I might have rest my hand in her eyes <laughs> <laughs> and then it's smudged. So day four was freeze and I decided to go with a girl that's kind of bundled up for the winter and she's eating a frozen ice cream popsicle thing. Uh, I thought of this because whenever I'm cold I always crave ice cream for some reason and so I decided to make her eat a frozen treat. So for freeze I thought of Queen Elsa her outfit when she's like in her ice dress, her braid. I don't know how to make sense of that. I don't really know. <laughs> so you do her coronation outfit? Mm -hmm. For day five, the prompt was build. And this made me think of building self-confidence. And I have a hand holding a mirror. And it's like the girl's holding the mirror. And she's like staring at herself, trying to be confident. Like, eh, yeah, I'm confident. <laughs> it's so cute. For day five, I drew a girl building a snowman. I wanna build a snowman. Oh, I didn't think of that. Come on, it's okay. Hi guys, can you see me? Lock the door. Back is on the way. Day number six was husky, and so I took it very literally and just drew a husky because <laughs> I couldn't think of anything else. But I tried to draw it kind of realistic, and so that was kind of hard because I never draw dogs. But don't forget, you asked to drew the moon. Oh, and I drew the moon. The moon is also there. <laughs> For day six, I drew a girl inspired by a husky. She has husky ears and a tail. And she's very cute. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot of fun doing this one. For day number seven, it was enchanted. And so I drew this kind of enchanted looking mushroom. And it has an itty bitty little fairy doing her tiny laundry. <laughs> I'm not sure why I made her do laundry. Uh, I just wanted her to be doing something and I thought, oh, maybe she can be doing the laundry. She's so tiny too. Yeah, tiny. it was really hard drawing her so tiny. She's literally so small. She might just seen a fairy that tiny flying around. It'd be cool. I did not know what to do for Enchanted. I spent forever trying to think of something. So I just drew an Enchanted necklace. Day number eight was frail, and so I drew a fairy with broken wings because wings are really frail. Uh, I quite like how this one turned out. I'm really happy how the wings uh, look broken, and I also like her hair. I like how it kind of flows. I like how you used white kind of like for line art. Like mm -hmm. You can't have line art there because it's 
black. <laughs> yeah, I left the white spaces so we could still kind of see the strands. I did a picture of a statue that a YouTuber did. It broke. She's called Nerdy Crafter. For number nine, it was swing, and I thought of mood swings. And so I drew a girl, and she just kind of looks like angry and sad, and like she's not in a good mood, and she's very grumpy. <laughs> so for swing, I drew a girl. I thought of like swing dancing, but I messed up on her nose. Oh no. How could I mess up on your face? That was like the only thing I could not mess up on. The poodle's really cute. Day number 10 was pattern, and I drew a guy with a pattern scarf. Um, I quite like how his pose turned out, and I feel like the scarf turned out nicely. And his hair is floofy. <laughs> the floof. I live for the floof. I live for the floof. The floof. <laughs> There's a show that Jack watches it's called Timu Mizumi. And this is a girl in the cartoon, and her name is Millie. And she has pattern powers. She changes her dress pattern. So that's why I thought of. Mm -hmm. Here we have day number 11, snow. And I was feeling tired and kind of lazy that day. So I drew a scribbly landscape scene. Um, it was actually kind of fun because I was just super scribbly. <laughs> so what I did for snow, I drew a periwinkle. Because she in a, lives in a snowy area. Oh, periwinkle from the Tinkerbell movies. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love periwinkle. She's so cute. Day number 12 was dragon, and so I drew a tiny little dragon. I like to draw tiny dragons. I'm not very good at drawing like bigger, more scary ones, uh, but I kind of know how to draw these simple little tiny ones. And I added a little gems over here because it looked really empty over here. For dragon, I did like a water dragon. I don't think it's that obvious because I can't use colors. Oh, uh-huh. So it was supposed to look like kind of like swooshy like oh, waves and little it. drips. This was supposed to be like water, but it kind of looks like scales. <laughs> so day number 13 was Ash, and what popped into my head was this kind of Ash fairy guy, and his body kind of disintegrates into Ash. I don't know if it makes sense. It's what popped into my head, <laughs> and so I went with it. Can you imagine messing with him though? I would not want to mess with him. <laughs> yeah, it just goes like this, like boom. Because where would his clothes go? Because I realized like, he, he is kind of naked. <laughs> Back to you true naked dude. <laughs> He's made of ash though. So. I did Ash Ketchum for the pump Ash. He turned out okay. It's hard to make sense of his hair though. It is. His hair is confusing. I feel like my favorite part is his little Pikachu. Pikachu. Pika Pika. Pika Pika. On day 14, the prompt was overgrown, and so I drew a girl with really overgrown hair. Uh, I quite like this one. I really like her super long hair and how her bangs cover her eyes, and I just feel like she turned out kind of cute. What I did for overgrown, I thought of a girl, and she like grew like a little plant. She has this little big growing stuff, and she probably added too much, because can you imagine having this just brown out in your backyard like what happened what do i do now with this day number 15 was legend for this i was trying to find different legends online and a lot of them kept being really creepy and so i drew my original character doris and she's reading a book about like urban legends and they're all kind of creepy and creeping her out <laughs> What I did for Legend, I drew Zelda. I kept doing it late, so I needed to go to bed. I couldn't even write bed right, so I just went with my pen and drew Zelda really quick before I went to bed. Day number 16 was Wild. I actually drew this one in one of my videos. I drew a guy with wildflowers on his face. <laughs> it's kind of random, uh, but I just went with it, and yeah. I kind of like how he looks, though. For wild, I thought maybe someone with like a wild outfit, maybe their hair is going crazy. For day number 17, the prompt was ornament. I drew a girl with a head ornament and I tried to add a whole bunch of details to make it look kind of ornate. This one was kind of tricky. I had a really hard time drawing the head ornament. Imagine wearing that though. It's probably really heavy. <laughs> For ornament, I thought of a guy holding a Christmas ornament and maybe like his match to his shirt. So his parents are like, wait, 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 that's cute. Let's take a picture. It matches perfectly. 
For day number 18, the prompt was Misfit. And right when I heard the word Misfit, I thought of my OC Raylan. And so I drew Raylan and she has the shirt that says Misfit on it. Uh, I quite like how this one turned out. Her pose was kind of hard to draw, uh, but I tried to make it look okay. And yeah, I really like the splatters. So for Misfit, I drew like a girl. If you Google Misfit, you get a whole bunch of skulls. Oh, like a lot of skulls. The prompt for day number 19 was Sling. And so I drew a girl that looks like she's kind of injured and she has her arm in a sling. Uh, but I wasn't able to look up a reference because my phone died. And so when I posted this on Instagram, people were telling me that I should have tied it on the other side. And I'm like, no, that's what I get for not looking up a reference. <laughs> so yeah. But I still think she turned out kind of cute. So what I did for Sling was a kid holding like a slingshot and like he was on fire, but his hand is on backwards. <laughs> Wait, it is? Yeah, I was thinking it's backwards. Day number 20 was Tread, and I was really not inspired for this one. I just kept thinking of a person like treading through snow or like walking up a mountain, but then I thought of a tire tread, and I was like, oh, maybe I could have someone fixing a bicycle, but then I thought of a tire swing, and so I drew a little boy swinging on a tire swing. I really like his <laughs> tiny little shoes. His shoes are so <laughs> cute. I drew a girl like treading through water. I wasn't very inspired for this one and plus I was tired. Day number 21 was treasure and I had to really think for this one. I was thinking about maybe drawing like um, some kind of treasure or a treasure chest. Um, but then I thought of how people in our lives can be our greatest treasure. And so I drew a locket and has a picture of a guy in it. Like maybe this belonged uh, to his wife or something like that. What I did for treasure, I drew a pirate standing on like a little treasure chest. For day number 22, the prompt was ghost. And for this one, I thought of the saying like they're a ghost of their former self. And so she was previously happy, but now she's kind of depressed and sad. And so she's a ghost of her former self. For ghost, I drew a boo. I didn't know what to do for ghost. And he's saying, I'm feeling 22. <laughs> Day number 23 was ancient, and this one was really hard for me. I thought of an ancient coin, and so I tried to draw kind of an ancient looking coin. Uh, I'm not a super big fan of this one. I was kind of trying to copy the kind of facial proportions you see on the coin, but I feel like it just makes her look kind of weird and a little wonky, um, but yeah. What I thought for ancient, I thought of like ancient Egypt. So I tried to draw like an Egyptian looking girl. Mm -hmm. I forgot to do her headpiece. I wasn't gonna draw a headpiece. She's really cute. I, I think she turned out cute. <laughs> I love her hair. Day number 24 was Dizzy and so I drew a lady wearing a coat with a bunch of Dizzy patterns and she's also surrounded by Dizzy patterns. Uh, for this one I kind of wanted to draw sort of like how you see when fashion designers draw so I drew her body like really long and yeah that's what I did. <laughs> I like how simplistic her lips are. Yeah. It's just so simple. Like, thank you for Dizzy. I, I thought maybe I'll draw a girl and she's like a ballerina and she's like spinning 40 spins later. She's like finally getting dizzy. She fell. Day number 25 was tasty and I was feeling lazy that day so I just drew a little panda donut. <laughs> it made me really want a donut. <laughs> it's so cute. Ooh, I can hear my eyes Elizabeth right now. Brinkles. What I did for Tasty, I thought of a girl holding like an ice cream. The ice cream looks really good. For day number 26, the prompt was dark. And I drew a girl and she has dark coffee and she trips. And so she spills all of her coffee. <laughs> the pose was kind of tricky. I had a hard time making it look like she was tripping. Um, but I hope I succeeded. She looks like she's tripping. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> What I thought to do for dark, I really wanted to draw a girl in a cloak. So I made her in a dark, long cloak. Day number 27 was coat, and I thought of a coat of paint. And so I drew a guy, and he's painting on a canvas. 
For some reason, he always makes me think of Tadashi. He does. I thought <laughs> that right afterwards. Like, he looks like Tadashi. I don't know why, maybe though. Maybe I don't know why. Because Tadashi's hair is shorter, so I don't know why it always makes me is think of... Is it his face? I think it's his, his face. face. His face looks like Tadashi. I always just think of Tadashi. <laughs> so, for coat, I drew a guy, and he's, like, in a coat. For day number 28, the prompt was ride. I decided to draw a boy riding the waves, and so, like, he's surfing. The pose was really hard to draw. I had to look at a lot of different uh, pictures of people surfing. Uh, but I feel like he looks cute because he looks like he's really enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> so what I thought for a ride, I thought of a girl riding a horse. The horse is really cute. <laughs> for day number 29, the prompt was injured. This one was hard because I had already kind of drawn an injured person for swing. Uh, but I thought of the girl that tripped with her coffee, so this kind of takes place afterwards. Uh, she tripped and hurt her knee, and now her coffee is spilt everywhere. This girl was not having a good day. Yeah, she wasn't. <laughs> this, this poor girl. Like, I just want my coffee. <laughs> what I fought for for injured, basically drew a guy in like a sling. I don't know what he did to his cheek. Probably did it while he was breaking his arm. Well, we're getting close to the end. Day number 30 was catch, and uh, the ladies say he's quite the catch. <laughs> and so I drew a guy, and he's kind of winking, and he looks kind of flirty. And maybe all the girls kind of have a crush on him at school. For catch, I drew a girl catching a fish. Oh, I really like all the little scales on the fish. <laughs> yeah. She kind of looks like a girl who built a snowman. Mm-hmm. So here we have the final day of Inktober, and the prompt was ripe. And so I thought of like a ripe smell, and so there's stinky cheese, and she's kind of like, ugh, the cheese is so stinky. What I thought for ripe was a ripe apple, and I thought of a villager off of Animal Crossing. I drew my villager. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> So we have come to the end of this Inktober sketchbook tour. I hope you had fun looking through my sketchbook and my sister's sketchbook. Also for the announcement about my webcomic, My Next Door Neighbors. Um, if you follow my webcomic, you will know that it has been on hiatus for a little bit. But it's going to be coming back in mid-November. I can't remember what day, but I'll put it up on screen. Uh, so yeah. The new season will be starting, which I'm really excited about. But also when it comes back, I want to do a fan art showcase, uh, showcasing some of the fan art that you have all made for me. So if you have any fan art for my next door neighbors that you want to submit, there's info on how to submit your fan art in the description and I will show it in a future video. Um, I'm really excited to be posting my next door neighbors again and I hope you look forward to it. Um, if you have not read my webcomic before, I'll put a link to the playlist in the description and you can get all caught up if you want to. Um, do you have any final words you want to say? Not really, no. <laughs> so I guess we're good here. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all next week in my next video. Bye! Bye.